guys, so I'm going to be talking about a couple of items from Barry M today. I love Barry M, I've been a fan of them for so long and I realise I've done quite a few videos of their product recently, but that's not going to stop. So today we're looking at their cheek products. Now, a long time ago I bought this guy to review and just never really got round to it. So this is their Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit in light to medium. It also comes in medium to dark and it is 6 49 So you've got three pens in here, um, a highlight, bronzer and a contour and there's 7.5 grams of product. And there is instructions in the lid here, so a bit of a guidance for newbies. Um, I also just pulled out a Barry M blush just to kind of stay on theme. Um, these are weird, I like them, but they, they go really funny and bobbly in the packet. Um, but they're free 99 and I think they're really cute and Barry M's all cruelty free, so it's brilliant. And the newest edition from Barry M or the newest addition to my collection, the Cosmic Lights Highlighting Palette. So this only costs $7.99. There's four creams with 2.8 grams of product each and two, prou two, produce, two powders with 3.6 grams of product. So nice selection of colours there. Um, going to fit a variety of looks and variety of skin tones. And it's got an okay mirror in the lid, although it's not going to stand up on its own. So I use these doing my makeup today and I'm pretty happy. But I'm going to put in um, an application section here and then my final thoughts. Okay, so let's get these applied. I am going to start with my contour because that's what I always start with. Um, so... Um, I kind of feel like the dark shade might be too dark for me, but also the middle one's really warm. Um, and they do kind of say in the instructions that it's more of a bronzer. So that's not my thing. So we'll go into this darker one gently. And oop. Gently was the right choice. Okay, where's my wee hand mirror? Do -do -do -do. That is an intense contour. Um, okay. Let's do lots of blending for a while. And this is the light to medium skin tones palette. In here. Okay. Hard blending, hard blending, hard blending. Okay, I don't normally have my contour that extreme, but that's what we've ended up with today. Um, for the record, the middle shade looks like this, so it's just very warm to use as a contour. So my next stage is blush. Um, I'm just using a Barry M one just to kind of stick with the theme of the video. Um, shade 2. Uh, it's a very, very pale blush, but I do have a lot going on with the eyes today and I'm about to have a lot going on with the highlighter. So, it's not a bad thing to have a subtle blush going on. I don't know why I keep kind of humming to myself while I'm getting ready, it's really bad. Um... So that is a really, really subtle blusher and to be honest, I don't think it's going to work on any of you that's too many tones deeper than me, uh, but it's cute and it kind of brings a bit of life to the face for those dates where you don't really want blusher. So the Chisel Cheeks palette also comes with a highlight powder, but to be honest, this is not going to work for me as a highlight because it's darker than my skin. So. Um, not going to be using that. Um, it's got a bit of a yellowy tone to it, so it could be a nice brightening setting powder. But that's that. 
So for highlight, we're going to be using the Barry M Cosmic Lights palette with all this space themed holographic decoration on the front and this beautiful blue to purple ombre. So the packaging feels way better quality for this somehow than this guy. Um, to start with, it does have a mirror, um, where this does not. So I really did like the job they done on packaging this. It was sealed round, but I take that off for the video. Um, and the cream colours actually have um, a little seal over the top of them. So they're going to stay nice and fresh, even if it's been in the shop for a little while. So I'm going to peel this off if I can get my nail underneath it. Ooh. Oh, it's so small and fiddly, but very well sealed. Okay. It's one. It doesn't want to come off. And two. So I just need to choose which shade to actually use today. Um, I mean, I think we all know that I'm not going for this one. Um, that's not really going to work for me. This might work for me. This seems more of a blush topper for me. Iridescent blue duochrome. Um, I think I'm going to try a mixture of two duochromes because we've got this cream colour which has got a pinky a lilac and then I think I'm going to top it with the blue. So it's going to be really over the top. So um, let's just get some of this guy on my fingertip. So it's it's quite a firm product, which is good because I'm about to try and use this on top of powder. Um, with your really creamier products, that's not going to work. But slightly firmer ones, you can usually just about get away with for tapping it on. So things like ColourPop, I use on top of um, on top of powder all the time. It doesn't seem to disrupt it. So that's actually far more subtle than I was expecting. Um, from the, well, from the, the packaging I was really expecting this to be crazy out there highlighters, um, you know, with the kind of space theme um, and all the holographic, but that's actually really pretty and quite subtle. Um, but we're going to amp it up because, you know, um, it's just a swatch of it on its own, so nice and wearable. So going into that bottom middle blue shade, with my Spectrum highlight brush and we're going, oh, okay, there we go. That's what I was expecting from this palette. Oh yeah. Just gonna build this a bit more further back on my cheek. Oh, I love it. Okay, I, I'm in love. Um, I'm just going to swatch the rest of the shades just so that you guys can see them. So, we've got this kind of peachy. Ooh, hello, camera. Do -do, hello, rest of my room. Um, we've got a peachy pink at the top here. So, that's very sheer. That's going to be very pretty. The pink shade that I'm wearing, just so we've got them all together. So the creams seem really, really subtle, which is nice. The golden cream that I know I'm never going to use, because that's just... Well, maybe I could use that on my eyes, actually. Um, and then we've got the lighter gold, which sort of reminds me in the pan of Kitten from Stila. Um, bit less pink. So the powder highlight that I used is this guy, that blue, and the one I still to touch is the pink sparkly that looks like a blush topper. Um, oh, but it's actually really frosty when it goes on. Okay, so I think there's a good mix in this palette. You know, you've got nice and subtle, you've got kind of goldy tones for, you know, a warmer look, and you've got these two gorgeous powder highlighters. So, all in all, what do I think about these products? I don't like the contour kit. I'm sorry. Um, it's 
nothing to do with the quality of it. It's just to do with the look that I go for. Um, I'm never going to use the bronzer. I just put those swatches right against my top. Smooth. I'm never going to use the bronzer. The highlight's not going to highlight for me. And the contour is a little bit intense for how pale I am. So for me, no. If you do bronzer and contour and you're deeper skinned than me, this is great. But even though this is labelled light to medium, if you're really light, I wouldn't necessarily go for it. This guy, oh my god. This is already going straight in there as one of the coolest highlights I've had in a long, long time. And I am absolutely putting this in the goodbye category. absolutely love this. So glad I picked it up. Um, and I'm really excited. Because um, this just looks insane. So I didn't make a video on Friday. I'm really sorry about that. I had a rather rough week, will we say. Um, and when I got home, I just, I just couldn't face doing anything. So we've got a bit of a double feature. Almost triple feature if you count the blush, which I do really like. Um, I think it's really cute. So, if you've got any questions, leave them below. If not, I will see you guys later. Hope you had an awesome weekend. Bye!